We're looking at a rare fighter. First of all, Volkanovski, the champ. Fantastic striking, elite striking. He's always hanging out with the likes of Israel Adesanya and Dan Hooker. He's always mixing it up at Tiger Muay Thai. If you YouTube that right now, you can actually see videos of him sparring with Peter Yan. So this guy's striking is elite for a couple reasons. One, he is a guy that just puts tremendous pressure on you. Once he smells blood, once he really starts putting the pressure on, it's hard to get him off. And there's very few in the history of the game that can put this kind of elite pressure on you when it comes to the striking. And when it comes to the striking, the second reason he's so special is because not only does he put the pressure on you, but he's fantastic at getting in and out. He simultaneously puts pressure and slips back right out of the way right when you think you're about to hit him. So let's watch this clip here and you'll see what I mean. Volkanovski's gonna start putting on the pressure here. Starts walking his man down, lead roundhouse kick to the body. Front snap kick. Now Alex may be moving forward, but he recognizes the time to retreat. Watch how he moves just out of the way of this counter attack. Let's see that one again here. Out of the way, out of the way, beautiful. And now without even missing a beat, we're gonna put the pressure back on. And let's watch again how Volkanovski gets in and out with that striking, putting the pressure on, knows when to take it off. Did you see that last move right there? Let's, let's watch that again. Comes in with a jab and a rear hook. Backs up right in time for that uppercut. So this combination of elite pressure and elite distance management means that most of your mental processing should probably be spent watching out for Volkanovski striking. I'd say it's at a level that only a couple other people uh, have ever gotten to in this game. And I think you get it. It's, it's no joke. But on a side note, his wrestling is freaking great. It is elite as well. And often he'll set up his wrestling, create opportunities to shoot. And what he'll do is he'll kind of draw you into a firefight. So watch that right leg here. We're gonna see Volkanovski start this off with a big kick. He's gonna make his opponent think He's in a firefight, and his opponent's gonna try to wing a bomb of a left hook. When that happens, Volkanovski's gonna duck under and engage his wrestling to really get a nice takedown here. Look at how deep Volkanovski is on the legs, and look at how straight his posture is. This guy's going right over. Another example of drawing in the firefight, watch. Volkanovski's gonna wing two bombs at his opponent here. One, two, as a counter shot, his opponent's gonna throw this right uppercut. Volkanovski's got his opponent really thinking he's in a dog fight now, and when his opponent goes to throw a jab, Volkanovski's gonna duck underneath, and he's gonna shoot for those legs that are now wide open, and he's gonna get in deep on this shot. You can actually see this guy threw a cross afterwards, and that allowed Volkanovski to get even deeper. Beautiful takedown. That was set up by initiating a firefight. Here we see it again. Volkanovski really throwing down, initiating a firefight. Watch as his opponent reacts. He, he goes to throw a strike, but that gives Volkanovski what he needs in order to get in deep on a double leg. Look at this posture here. That straight up and down, he's gonna be able to lift this guy right up. And look at that clasp of the hands. You really get to clasp your hands around a guy's legs, just like Volkanovski did right there. Unbelievable. Now, right away, as the man starts to stand back up, we see Volkanovski enter the back control. Notice he has his chest right over the top of his opponent's thoracic spine. That means he's carrying all the weight of Volkanovski right now. And as he tries to power back up, notice this. Volkanovski's gonna pin his wrist to the cage. That is gonna demobilize that hand. That would be the hand you would need for an underhook to protect your legs from a big takedown from Volkanovski. And Volkanovski's gonna use that. But first he's gonna pop him in the head one time to get this guy to go and block up high for the strikes. And then he's gonna duck underneath on a dirty double in deep. This guy tries to hit the switch. 
But Volkanovski's posture and the depth of that shot is not going to allow that. He's going to lift his man up and slam down for the takedown here. Beautiful wrestling chain by Volkanovski. Now Volkanovski's got some of the best ground and pound in the sport, and I don't think a lot of people give him credit for this, especially when he starts to posture up or get people on his side. Let's take a look at posturing up first. Notice, one knee is up. The goal here is to get on that other foot so he's standing completely over his opponent, Brian Ortega, here. Boom, he's up to the second foot. He's completely over the top of Brian Ortega, and it's hard to see the legs, but his hips are in such a position that he's stuffed Brian Ortega's ability to upkick. That is the bottom man's biggest weapon from this position, and without it, he's gonna get freaking Donkey Kong on. Just brutal, brutal ground and pound from the champ here, reminiscent of Khabib. It's, I think it's that good. He's here, he sticks to you like glue. Watch as Brian Ortega tries to kick away. Notice right away, Volkanovski's going to step back in, and that's going to limit the upkick and the hip mobility of Brian Ortega. Look, he's got his hip right over the top and jammed up Ortega's hip. Now pay attention to the right leg of Volkanovski. He's going to step in and severely compromise the mobility of Ortega's left hip, and the beatings continue. This was vicious, too. I mean, I'm surprised Ortega survived this. This is bad. And car he can go all day with the cardio of Volkanovski. Volkanovski also does really well with a position where he forces you to be turned in towards him. Uh, this exposes the temple, and he's going to crush your temple. Here, he's using this underhook to keep his man forced, turned in towards him. And with that, he's going to start bashing on the guy's temple. The time he really gives up that underhook are A, when the guy enters the fetal position, as you can see here. He doesn't really need it so much if he's in the fetal position. And the second is when the guy posts. Whenever the man does that, he's going to throw a bomb of a right hand that was the underhook over right onto the guy's temple. Posting like that opens up the shot. And afterwards, he's always going to return it right to that underhook. Watch all that play out again here. Watch. His man is going to post with that left hand. And what he does, Volkanovski is going to slang a bomb of a right hand. That bomb of a right hand actually put this guy in the fetal position, which really is going to expose that temple, and Volkanovski is going to make him pay um, accordingly. Now, the beating can start to get real bad when Volk starts to posture up. It's important to remember that on the ground, distance is power. Notice he's got one leg up here, and that's creating a lot of distance between him and his opponent. Ground and pound is all about how much distance you can make your punch move through. And the more postured up you are, the better. And that's especially true if you can do that with your opponent turned in like that. If you can posture and blast him, one, turned in, he doesn't have that up kick anymore. And two, that tempo is exposed and that tempo is a money shot. Take a look at him starting square and then forcing his opponent to turn in. Look at this left hand here. What he's gonna do is he's gonna grip, a good strong grip on the guy's tricep and use that to pull it in. See how he's gripping here? He's really cupping around the tricep. That is gonna hold the man facing him and that's gonna allow him to beat on his head. And here we see Volkanovski start to posture up and he's able to do this because this guy has his hand threaded in between Volkanovski's leg. That was a bad decision. And uh, speaking of jujitsu gone wrong, watch this. Volkanovski starts pounding on his opponent here. And he's starting to force him over to the side. And when he goes to the side, this guy's going to go for a leg lock. Works great in jujitsu. It's a little different here. Not that it won't work. But this is where Volkanovski's going to start pounding on that temple area while this guy's going for a leg lock. Pretty big shots as well. I was thinking about it. One of the reasons Volkanovski's ground and pound is probably so good is because he's got elite striking. He's dead accurate, knows how to generate that power, and his wrestling is there to put him in a position to do so.